Very often when a shiny hunter completes a hunt, they immediately do the same thing. They go get another encounter. Now, the reason for this is pretty simple. Most of the time, it's because they just want to see their newly found shiny Pokemon again. They want to send it out, see the back sprite, you know, see the sparkles again. It's like a victory lap. But sometimes there's a secret secondary purpose to this ritual. What if the next Pokemon is also shiny? When I hunted for a full odd shiny Aeron last year in Pokemon Emerald, after I found my beautiful green perfect baby boy, of course I thought of this. I immediately did another encounter because what if? I mean, you know, it's one in 8,000 twice in a row, sure, but you never know. It might just happen and then my name is etched forever in the stone tablets of shiny hunting. But of course it didn't happen. I mean, this would be so lucky. After all, in these earlier Pokemon games, where full odds means odds of about 1 in 8,000 for any individual encounter, getting two in a row would be absolutely ridiculous, right? Surely nobody has ever had this happen to them. Right? Well, my friends, in this video, I'm going to tell you the stories of the most unbelievably lucky shiny hunts you have never heard of. And I'm also going to explain the math along the way. All that and more on today's episode of White Boy in Front of Green Screen with Microphone, talking about video games. First of all, let's be sure we understand the goal here. Basically, we want to find one full odds shiny Pokemon, and then on the very next encounter in the same game, find another. Also, in this video, we're going to be talking exclusively about the Pokemon games prior to Generation 6, where the odds were doubled to 1 in 4096. So that means the odds of any individual encounter being shiny is 1 in 8192. With that in mind, what are the odds of finding two full odds shiny Pokemon in a row? Well, for that, I want to show you a little game with some playing cards. As I've covered on this channel in the past, all encounters in Pokemon are completely independent. That basically means that all encounters have no bearing on the next. So, you know, if you're shiny hunting for, say, a shiny Slugma, and you've done 40,000 encounters, the game isn't going to say, all right, well, it's been long enough, let's throw him a bone. 40,001? That's going to be the one. No, the game is not thinking like that, it isn't thinking at all, it's just randomly generating numbers over and over and over again. So, all of the encounters have no bearing on the next. The same goes for when you finally find the shiny. If you find the shiny, that doesn't make it more likely for the next one to be shiny or not to be shiny. The odds are set in stone for every single encounter. To demonstrate this, we're going to play a game. I've just shuffled this deck of cards many times, as you saw, and I'm not a magician, I don't know sleight of hand, I haven't forced anything. I need you, as the viewer, to think of a playing card in your mind. There are 52 cards in the deck, we've got Ace through 10, and the face cards, and the four suits. So there's 13 cards to a suit, hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades. Just think of any card, 10 of diamonds, jack of hearts, three of spades, eight of clubs, doesn't matter. Think of a card. I'm gonna pull a card off the top of this deck, and whatever it is, if that's your card, you're still in the game. But if it's not your card, then you're out of the running, all right? Here's the card. It's the King of Hearts. If the King of Hearts was your card, then congratulations, you are still in the game. If your card was anything else, you are out. Now what I'm going to do, and remember, that was 1 in 52 chance for that to be your card. And with how many people are going to watch this video, there's a very high likelihood that at least some of you were thinking of the King of Hearts. I'm now going to shuffle the deck again, many times, in order to get that King of Hearts thoroughly mixed in with all the other cards. This is like doing another encounter in your Pokemon game. Another encounter in your shiny hunt. Because now, it's just as likely again for it to be the King of Hearts, 1 in 52, but it's the same chance for it to be any of the other cards, 1 in 52. Which means there is a 51 out of 52 chance that it's not the King of Hearts. Now, I genuinely don't know what's about to come up. In fact, just to be absolutely sure, I'm just going to cut the deck and, you know, do some extra shuffles in case my riffle shuffling has any bias. Uh, and we're going to do this again. And again, if you're still in the game, the King of Hearts was your card, we're going to pull the card off the top of the deck, and if it's the King of Hearts again, that's like back-to-back -back shinies, albeit much more likely. Uh, but here we go. Okay. <laughs> this... <laughs> I pr <laughs> That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Congratulations! Okay, even if there is some bias in my ripple shuffling, I cut the deck several times and move stuff around. <laughs> it's genuinely the King of Arts again. Um, you won! Congratulations! If you picked the King of Arts, please comment down below. That is unreal. 
Uh, what are the odds of that happening? Well, uh, it's 1 in 52 times 1 in 52. For two independent events that are back-to-back -back like this, uh, we just multiply the two probabilities together. If we'd have removed cards from the deck, that would have changed the denominator, but we didn't. So it's 1 in 52 times 1 in 52. Hey you! Has this ever happened to you? Hello? You're sitting down at your desk in your office working and your knees start to hurt? What is happening right now? Well, do I have the solution for you? Because FlexiSpot is the sponsor of this video. What? Their E7 Pro Standing Desk is an incredible product, and its variability allows you to readily convert it from sitting to standing, and everything in between, all with the click of a button. That footage is of me. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> you have knee problems, don't you? Um, yeah, I, I guess so, and I will say that using a standing desk over the last year and a half or so has really helped. Exactly. Now shut up and listen to more promotional language. Not only is the E7 Pro great for your bodily health, but it's also incredibly sturdy and the build quality is excellent. It can support a lot of weight safely, as evidenced by this video you're watching right now of you sitting on it as it raises from ground level to a truly staggering and quite frightening height. No, no, no. Okay, again, that is footage of me, but I, I don't remember doing that. What, what is this? In fact, the E7 Pro has a static capacity of 440 pounds, which means it can comfortably fit one ho -o, or one bronze. Please stop! Sorry, man. I was just trying to make the end of this ad read relatable to ADEF's audience. I'll just read the CTA and get out of your hair. Click the link in the description below to snag an E7 Pro today, complete with a 15-year warranty and 30-day risk-free return service. Is it over? Fireball! <laughs> One in 2,704. That's the odds of this happening. You pulling the same card twice out of a fully shuffled deck of cards, shuffling it both times. I promise you I did not force this. This is generally the first time I'm filming this, and I literally can't believe that that just happened. Uh, but regardless, now we're up to one in 2,700, right? We're almost to the odds of a shiny Pokemon, even just from a one in 52 twice in a row. Now imagine we start at one in 8,000. So then what are the odds? 1 in 8,192 times 1 in 8,192. Well, that turns out to be about 1 in 67 million. With odds of 1 in 67 million, has this actually ever happened to anyone? And maybe more so, has it ever been caught on video? A lot of people play Pokemon. Every main series Pokemon game sells millions of copies, and most of those end users will generate many, many encounters throughout their one or several playthroughs. With all of those encounters, it's likely that some people have had this happen who weren't hunting for shinies and or just weren't recording their gameplay. They were just playing casually and, you know, it just happened. But we'll never know about it. Either they didn't know the significance and they've forgotten it over time, or no one believed them on the playground when they claimed that it happened. But another reason why I say that it's likely that this has maybe happened to some people off video is because it has happened to some people on video. That's right. Some people who were shiny hunting and had this happen to them were recording. This is Shepard922. Shepard is hunting in the fiery path in the Gen 3 Pokemon games. As you can see by his encounter number, which he's keeping track of in the calculator app, he's nearing 20,000 encounters without a shiny. But in a moment, he's gonna find a full odds shiny Torkoal. Shiny Torkoal, let's go! Oh, that looks so good. Yes, we got it. Awesome, a new shiny Pokemon and a pretty rare one too. When hunting in Fiery Path, the odds for encountering a Torkoal on any given encounter are only about 18%. So this is a really great shiny Pokemon to find. But in a moment, Shepard is gonna do the thing that shiny hunters never do. He's gonna call his shot. Lonely. All right, let's get the two in a row. Two shinies in a row. I was joking. I was joking. I was joking. Every shiny hunter's dream 
That did not just happen. Huh? Huh? And that very well could have been where this video ended. But it's not. Let's take a look at the date Shepard uploaded this clip. May 23rd, 2023. Let's now jump far into the future to June 14th, 2023. Just three weeks later. This is Nyepi. Nyepi is hunting for shinies in the Safari Zone. On the left game, they're hunting in Fire Red and Leaf Green, and on the right is Pokemon Emerald. Nyepi winds up getting a shiny Ladyba after just a hair over 2,000 encounters. Pretty under odds. And this is a Safari Zone encounter, so this Ladyba has a chance to run away, but Nyepi still does manage to catch it, which is awesome. But as you know, this Ladyba isn't what we're here for. After catching this Ladyba, Nyepi heads outside of the Hoenn Safari Zone onto Route 121 just outside Lily Cove City to send this brand new shiny Ladyba out into battle to see those magnificent sparkles one more time. As for what happens next, I'm sure you can guess. Showing him off Maliba, the, la the male Ladyba. A double take ako si Wei. What? This looks... This looks... Wait! What the heck? Yo, two full odds! Two full odds! What the freak? Shop it shiny! Two full odds! What? It's a shiny shop it! What? 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 <laughs> what the? What? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? I really can't overemphasize how wild this is to me. Two full odds, one and eight, one nine, two Pokemon back to back recorded on video, fully documented, by two different people, and both of these occurrences were less than a month apart. I did some pretty extensive research for this video. I really scoured the internet for any clips of full odds back-to-backs, and these are the only two clips I could find. Now, I did extensive research, sure, but it's, it's possible I missed something, but these are the only two I found. If you know of any others, please comment them down below, but presuming these are the only two properly documented, uploaded to the internet clips of this happening, just the fact that this happened within a month of each other, I truly cannot wrap my brain around it. People have been streaming and recording shiny hunts in Pokemon for like nearly two decades. And with the ubiquity of the smartphone camera these days, I mean, it's very likely that when people find shinies, even if they weren't recording, they'll whip out the camera to record and then keep recording when they go into their next encounter. So I think a lot of opportunities for the back-to-back -back have probably been recorded by shiny hunters in the last 15 to 20 years. And the fact that these are the only two I could find and they were this close in proximity to each other is really amazing. In all that time, these are the only two and they were 22 days apart. If seeing these clips doesn't get you excited to go shiny hunt, I don't know what will. After all, you gotta get out there, trainers. The triple is still unclaimed.